subscribe, like, follow, share with your friends. I also have a great Patreon. Yeah, 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 I know. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, don't tell me what to do. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. We don't like Patreon. I don't want to go. Yeah, I know. It's a bit out of the way. I don't want to pay for Patreon. Oh my god, yeah, I just want the free stuff. I don't want to touch your Patreon. Fact. Facts. Follow my Patreon, okay? Thank you. Subscribe, like, share, comment, follow, Patreon. Look at the thing if you want to see a little more. My god, it sounds like an OnlyFans. It's maybe Check out my website. I just updated it. Just um, say thank you. I can help you with your life. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. Paulina here talking to you about the month of August 2024 astrologically speaking um, there's going to be quite a lot going on in the sky uh, we have quite a lot happening we have had a very very strong and certain Mars crossing Uranus and he is now approaching Jupiter and he will cross Jupiter and walk into the end a little bit of Gemini landing on the IC at the beginning of September so what I am talking about here what I'm trying to relay is that there's going to be a lot at stake there's going to be a lot of changes needed or given and there is a very big need to have a completely different view of life or a totally different life result certain people cannot stop here they cannot just do the same thing day in day out there are certain people that really want to go forward to gallop fast and to make the most out of their day and of course we do have the olympics um, happening during this time so there's this really big feeling of sportsmanship and this really big affection for the winner for the person that can take it all the winner gets it all um, everybody knows who the winners are already so before we walk into august it should have already been seen and illuminated as to who naturally is the best and who naturally cannot compete um, so you can already kind of tell where things are not happening and are not going to be happening maybe forever and you can probably tell which things are happening and which things are going on it's very easy to see the dominant person in the equation and it's also very sometimes hard for us but we have to understand and respect why things did not happen we do have south node close to lilith it's very easy to find the ending of a story it's really easy to define um, life results and it's also very easy to say okay look great but i don't care um, for example you may want to slip out of a certain situation certain people will want to come out of a marriage as there is a lot of gaze upon which is and which is not correct during this month as venus is going to be going through virgo so it's going to be very very real and radical um, for certain people as to how far things have gone it's going to be very easy to see um, who is a cheater in a story it's going to be also very easy to find out what is going on behind the scenes without having to go through a lot so there's not a lot of turbulence or anger or fright or frustration needed because the south node naturally tranquilizes or alkalizes um, Venus eventually by the end of the month so you will probably get some very certain life results and understand ah that's where the karma is or wow that person has been lying to me for a long time or wow I never really understood that I wasn't getting the best out of the story so this is really uh, hard for me and other people when they start sort of like looking over their paperwork when they start really thinking about what they were able to do this whole time and where they did not um, see themselves go where they did not um, focus um, it's really really hard for certain people to understand that they've missed the point or they have not done the best that they could have done for themselves so it's a very very um, emotional and slightly meaningless time it takes a true master of thought and action it takes a very powerful person it takes a real optimist and altruist to do some things these days because it's going to probably be quite a hurdle and quite a lot of karma that you have to burn through or transcend if you really wish to take the best out of a situation or a story and if you want to go to that next level the next level is very easily seen however here it is not a washed out dreamy month it's a very focused robust angry frustrated but also very driven and inspired as an inspirational month because we are in dragon year legacy time everybody uh, legacy time wanting to do the best you can do wanting to be at the top wanting to have done the best all of these years 
and not knowing that you had to do this or that. So you have to be very, very quiet and calm sometimes and relax, calm yourself down and be like, okay, we are here. For example, you are at a point where you're actually stable enough to change your life, or you are at a point where you can start that marketing campaign, or you are at this point, at this crux of your evolution and your time, where you can take care of that which needed to be taken care of for a really long time. So maybe you are here awake, and maybe brutally so, and for some people it's going to be very hard, very karmic, very strenuous, but they are going to commit. So this is like that sporting spirit. The hero comes out, and many people, and there's going to be a really true, good and feeling and hearty result that we finally want. Like, I don't want to just play it safe. I want to live my truth. Like, I don't want to just, you know, give and take. I want to really feel desire. I want to feel inspired. I want to feel the passion for life. But basically what happens is everybody's screaming and yelling. Everybody wants to get themselves the best sometimes. So we don't really understand also how to sacrifice what we have to sacrifice. Uh, within proportion and perspective and also how to take care of ourselves. We don't really understand yet as a society, as people, how to really get this moving and how to do it adequately without severe loss. So this is also very important as for me, as for other people, creative people, visionary people, anybody who's really feeling the force to finally do it. Um, you have to be brave, but also have to be very just. Come back to yourself and think, did I need to do this? Did I need to become this? Do I feel like I want to be special? Or do I feel that I want to be somebody that I'm not? Do I sometimes believe in myself in such a way that is not proportional to my being? Or that is not helpful or comfortable for my spirit? So this is very, very important here for all people. It's about measure, it's about intellect, it's about having sometimes group consciousness that helps you survive and succeed. And at times it's about having somebody else there, maybe it's a partner, maybe it's a job giver, maybe it's somebody a worker who works for you, that can help you grow. But this is really debilitated during this time. People will yell and scream over the top of each other. They don't want to make sense sometimes. They just want to be loved and understood. So there could be a lot of screaming and yelling. There could be a lot of tears for some people and there could be a lot of acting out. And there are also even grand bodies of people that will think they've got to do what they don't have to do. It's very, very easy to get to that edge and that point where you're feeling like I'm finally speaking the truth or I'm finally being me or I'm finally giving you what I really wanted to give you all this time. But you may not necessarily know who you are. So it's very easy to overstep, overjump, overexpect. It's also very easy to over experience to push yourself into a very intimidating story or being in a very uncomfortable story with somebody else where you basically don't understand what is going on. So the worst case is sometimes we can put all this energy, all this frequency, all this love, all this therapy and all this obsession with details or all this obsession with truth into a very uncomfortable, unsightly, arrogant or not very satisfying perspective in which we now have maybe not a lot to do. But you see, this is almost like a cauldron that we are turning and there's so many ingredients, there's so much love and trust and faith sometimes in these projects or in these people or in these ways of looking at life that you might basically burn yourself down. You may very easily burn out or burn down another person. And it's also very, very easy not to have the right results because there was simply too much happening and there are too many people involved in a story or there's just so much aggression or so much divine guidance or divine light while we don't actually simply understand the story um, as we can't see the forest for the trees because there's a very blindsided like obsession sometimes with details, sometimes an obsession of getting what you want, it's an obsession with another person that can drive you past the point of what is acceptable and past the point of what is worthy and economical to do today. So basically what I don't want to accidentally pass on to you during this time is um, a certain type of obsessive, obsessive, compulsive, emotional extremism that can sometimes happen in people's lives when they don't even know that it is happening in their lives. So for example, you could be really obsessed about your children, about like how they're doing at school or how they're presenting. You might very easily burn out your uh, relationship with them. You might get tired and also you might feel awful also later on about what you've said or done during Leo time as you might have not been 
um, respectful of other people and you might not have been poised or guided or guarded enough to be able to basically see this energy for what it is. And the main crux of this energy is power, is supreme guidance and thought. It's about togetherness. It's about, sometimes it is about grief, but grief has to be in a very, very small, compact state so that you can walk out there and only use grief as a contrast to who you are today. So saying, I used to be so tempted or I used to be so obsessed or I used to be so upset and here we are and now I have everything. Say I have money, I have power, I have now nothing standing in my way or I have nobody telling me what to do. So definitely there is this hero rising, but what if you don't get it? The majority of people also that have been coming to me for readings recently have had something very kind and safe and stable all along, but they didn't want it, they disregarded it, and they wanted something very extreme, and they got very jumpy. So jumpiness can sometimes betray people and their truth, and it can betray their vortex of energy later on in time. So you could be incredibly comedic or emotional or incredibly hysterical about where you're going or how far your life has gone. And what has happened in the past, you might be very, very emotional about your needs and wants and desires. And there could be a pent up frustration as to what life has given you so far or what life may become later on. And I understand sometimes we need that frustration um, to be able to balance things out. We sometimes need that frustration or that fire or that emotion to give ourselves those big games or to feel like there is magic in the air to have done better later on in time. But there is a really, really big point also that this guy is making. And to me, it is making this point saying, I don't want you to struggle. I don't want you to be at your best all the time. I don't want you to say, thank you, ma'am, and yes, sir, and yes, please. Um, I don't want you to become completely um, emotional uh, so that eventually you have no courage, no emotion, so you don't have any backbone to you. So some of the time people can burn themselves out. They can get injured during a very, very big epic feat. They can sometimes become unsavory or unsightly for other people, and they can sometimes also burn their bridges or yeah cut their losses but you know never mind what this may seem like to me in certain situations definitely those of us that have um you know connected and quietened down in the last piece of cancer which is what i was um coaching my patreon channel to do we might have incredible extreme power to the point where it is basically just black and white and you just have to go forward and manifest 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 make things happen and in some cases, yeah, certain people might get hurt, certain people might get burned down. If you have a very good internal system, if you've got good endocrine health, if you've got a good nervous system, you might not care about anything that has nothing to do with you. So you might not let those details stand in your way. You might not be compassionate or interested in certain people that have no power. You might no longer be limited in some ways, but also consider tyranny. And being kind of uh, also, uh, in a way, afraid of the world, uh, being afraid of treated unjustly. So I'm definitely feeling brave, strong, new feelings, uh, new people come up, um, warriors. I'm seeing warriors and real, true, um, respectful and respectable people um, get up and um, show us what they're made of. Um, but at the same time, I feel that is potentially not needed by um, quite a large proportion of uh, the population because they simply don't want to do anything with anybody um, holding a knife. They don't want to do anything with anybody speaking too many truths or they don't want to be conquered. And there is definitely a battle, a battle of wills. Do I have it right or do they have it right? What is right? What is wrong? There is a very big also de debilitating energy, uh, debilitating ending that may be happening for some reason in some people's lives. They might be like, for example, um, many uh, big career moves, many big adventures or many big um, prizes and also much big spending and much big risk taking, um, which is not at all maybe in proportion with the coming times, you know, so I'm also like understanding that we can't um, also in a way get it wrong because if you feel passion desire and an unquestionable faith or unquestionable guilt about the past that you're trying to neutralize within the spectrum of time um, it is not uh, upon all of us it's not upon all people in the world but certain people are going to have to manifest 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 and even if it is uh, crazy dirty or unhumble even if it is 
scary, even if it is not necessarily in proportion to today's date and time, it is still going to be somehow um, thanked for. Uh, people are actually really thankful to those that can um, protrude with yet unimagined results or thoughts or feelings. People that have um, really um, aggressively wanted to do something of their own. People that really, really had a huge vision and now they want to bank on it or they want to put all their money into this job or they want to make a really big, maybe slightly uneconomic and not very trustful, not, not very trusting, but very um, intense, almost like a dreamer's version of what life is, certain people are going to be thanked anyway. It's like, I thank you for your greatness. I thank you for your truth. I thank you for your bravery, or I thank you for your extremism, or I thank you for your kindness and for your excess. So in some situations, it's going to be um, not many people available to us and there's go going to be not many answers given to certain people because um, the question really stays the same as we are not really capable of holding everything together at the same time and not every person is going to take um, what they want out of the situation, not every person is going to get what they need out of the circumstance, or not every person is going to be put into perspective and into alignment as certain big visions, big missions, or big ideas or answers are going to stay there as a big block, and there's no charity anymore. So it's like, I don't have any time to just chat, I need to get this done. Um, some people are going to be um, very kind about it and there's definitely going to be some understandings and in certain um, situations there's not and there's going to be not many reasons to stay. So for example, for some people, um, for some results, for some uh, karmas, there's going to be a big wrong to get it right. You know, so for example, to make your dreams come true, you have to finish up all your other dreams. Uh, or for example, you have to hand in all your toys or you've got to just break free to the point where you're like leaving the country, where you are sitting on your bags again or you're making some very, very different and um, new types of ideas of vortexes um, happening during this time. And of course, there could be, for example, a family name. Um, they could be a family system or they could be a really, really real, um, significant and strong truth that you might be giving to yourself or other people. They could be a real, true character trait that burns bright and it burns past everything and everybody that's ever been. And that's really hard for me to really talk about, but in a sense, we can burn through. We can burn through our money, we can burn through our friendships, we can burn through our family lines, we can burn through so many things that were offered to us previously and we can forget and forget and it's like I just honestly I just don't want any of this anymore just as long as I get to shine just as long as I get to be myself as long as I feel happy and this is something that is very very strong and really to do with this time I don't want any of this anymore I just want to be happy so there's like this big feeling of um, whether or not this makes sense or not doesn't doesn't manage me anymore. I don't want to be managed by small um, resolutions and life results. I want to actually feel the spirit. I want to feel epic or I want to be grand. I want to feel thankful for my life. I want to laugh with my whole face. I want to make friends with my whole heart. I want to be adventurous and I want to be real. I want to be real and I want to have that drive. And that may um, definitely have certain sacrifices. So if you want to be who you are, and if you want to be um, not necessarily mean, um, if you want to be just so much in love with your own life and have such an incredible love um, for the world, and if you want to have ex exceptional um, sensual or emotional drive, if you want to have an incredible career, if you want to have um, unique creativity, if you want to get to the top of it and you want to do it quick, Unfortunately, for some people in the story, um, they're not going to be it for you. So you won't be able to concentrate. Somebody's talking, you're like, okay, honestly, this is not going to get me any results and I would rather not. Um, so there's this kind of bulldozing feeling that I'm seeing. And also a lot of people are setting them up in a way to just forgive and forget straight away because they're already prepared to cut out um, most of the things, mo most of the thinking patterns, most of the mental states, most of these binds and locks and um, these different sort of ball and chain uh, relationships and ball and chain environments where they are just like, hey, 
why don't we just all love each other or just why don't we just um, have these amazing extremes why am I living on this planet and I have never like felt never felt grateful yet or I've never felt um, true love or I've never really felt a true mission in my heart why do I keep on living like this why do I keep on living day in day out out of um, other people's lives other people's results or other people uh, people's futures why do I keep on building somebody else's business when I could build my own why do I keep on forcing myself to love somebody or to appreciate them or respect them when I actually have so much more to live for than just to be like pious and you know thank you thank you thank you all my life and um, I understand why people don't necessarily want um, these energies later on or why they don't feel uh, connected or affected by them and the big part that this place is this you don't need to step back and step in to make sure that you are holding on to yourself so a lot of us will inevitably try that it's like ah oh, gosh like I can't deal with all my wishes and my 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 delicious visions um, I can't deal with the way that I am. I can't deal with the fact that I'm still unpeaceful or I feel still ungrateful. I can't deal with the fact that I actually want to be in a different place and I want to have nothing to do with this. I can't deal with the fact that I'm still not happy or not healthy in the situation. I can't keep on holding on to my values and not speaking them out right. I can't keep on telling people lies to please them. I can't keep on um, doing that which I'm doing I can't live in this building or I can't have m my money used this way or I can't have um, my friends uh, treating me this way so this is a very very big emotion as I definitely believe that certain people will just want to contract and just enjoy things as they are and maybe also closer to the end of the month you'll just go okay like this is good I honestly don't get why I even tried, why I even bothered, and why I would possibly destroy my friendships or my realities for the sake of some dream or for the sake of some whim or some emotional feeling. So we will probably hold on to you. There's lots of people that want to hold on to you when you're feeling sad. There are lots of people that may be very attracted to you and your work when you're feeling doubtful. A lot of people are feeding on it, not just feeding on, they're feeling it themselves and they want to feel compassion with you. They want to understand that they're on your side or that you on their side so this feeling of like um conglomerates of people feeling compassion together this is going to come at some point in this month anyway um the feeling of nurturing the feeling of holding on to one another even though it is so hard you know it's so hard to break out of this reality it's so hard to break out of previous um methods of life and um, certain people will take all their wills and wants all their wishes they will take all their art down they will take the scream of their soul down to just commemorate something. And I'm seeing a lot of people like, well, at least I have a home. Well, at least, you know, I have a partner. And I know we're not meant, meant for each other, but at least we're going to survive this. So this sudden minimalism and the sudden um, delicious, actually, decision to feel okay that nothing came true and that some things won't, that will not happen for everybody. But for some people, there is a recoiling. It's like I've expanded and I said who I was and I shared with the world who I really truly am. And then suddenly, oh, 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 I need to be careful. I need to wrap myself warm and make sure that nobody knows that I exist. I, I need to, I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry I've done this. So there is like this really, really big um, spectacle. And then there is a contraction and a big spectrum of change is coming on either one. Uh, of, of those extremes like either you want to really speak it and be it to the point where you are just like crying and laughing and you're feeling like a huge expansion of your whole body which is what dragon yeah leo is really gonna bring or you're going to be a little bit like oh oh i'm not so sure i actually really want this but i don't know if, the, if that's available or am i allowed am i am i still acceptable am i who i think i am so this identity loss is a huge piece of the puzzle identity loss and identities and having people respect or not respect you having people follow or not follow you having people please or not please you having people resonate or not resonate having people not sure on you or not quite connected and also partnerships and partnerships definitely heard during this time because there's so much of this as we get it it's like well i was not fully seen or understood we do have venus coming out of leo and she's going into contracted sign of virgo where she's not welcome if you have a debilitated venus in either capricorn or in um, uh, virgo you'll know what i mean i i, I got both of those <laughs> i got capricorn house uh, virgo venus you know <laughs> 
<laughs> sucks to be you. I know. Um, so basically, what uh, I, I have to like come to here also is, uh, yeah, I don't need to overshare, but um, people will not necessarily be respected. People will have a uh, almost like a looking glass to them. It's like, what's going on there? Why did you say that? Why did you say this? So some of the time we have um, a comedy at home, we have a tragedy at home, we have a lot of power and emotions wasted um, on the people that we love, you know, because there's so much spark and there's so much emotions, there's so much extreme, so a lot of couples might go through a lot of messes during this time, simply as also Venus is coming up to the south node um, Lilith conjunction, and she's going to try and have her say, um, also Venus is crossing this um, DC line, which is where we basically have things go wrong sometimes and things come out of kilter and also the results are in by Virgo. So even before Virgo starts, um, this Venus and you know this, this whole um, sky is going to be like, look, did you do this? Did you do that? Did we you know, come together in the right way? Did we not? So like how to focus if you were really, really proud of yourself, if you just looked at yourself and said, wow, I'm living my dream. I'm living my vision. I am me. I am me. I don't need to cook and clean. I don't need to try. I don't need to subserve. I don't need to get anybody involved with me. I'm just happy as I am. You might be the winner. You might uh, have a lot of losses, but you might also win it all uh, simultaneously. But this is not something that a lot of people would be happy with. And eventually we have this Virgo and Venus and we have this end of the month. Um, and we have this kind of like, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't know that I was going to be, for example, taken offline for distributing this kind of materials. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that I was going to have nobody um, by my side because I said certain things. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that I was going to be redundant at work, made redundant because of something I shared in the office space. Oh, whoa. So like some people definitely are going to be clean. So the whole idea is now listen to your heart, okay? Even if it is extreme, even if it's annoying, but you have to also measure it. So like, for example, um, the whole feeling is like, I'm going to just go and jump off the building because I trust that I can fly or Jesus will save me or something like that. Now, this is also, we know uh, within physics, um, within just the way that life works, this is not doable. And this is not a trendy thing to do today to just walk out there and say, hey, um, you know, I, I have my mission, I have my vision, or I have this great, big, bright uh, idea or like life works in a different way for me like you guys may suffer I don't suffer you know like so this kind of a feeling of incredible bravado machismo is just not not even that incredible faith to the point where it is so rock hard and is so 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 evolved it's actually a really saintly thing we do have Jupiter and um, Saturn at a square to each other in communicative signs of um, Gemini and Pisces, but there's just not enough willpower. Sometimes there's not enough focus to actually know what is happening, what is going on. So we might not really have a truth eventually in the end, you know. So also truth, Saturn and Pisces, evolves very fast and you might think this is exactly what i want this is who i am four days later you're like wow i was acting out of trauma or i was acting out of burden so take this uh time as a learning time it is a learning spectrum it is also about divine timing it's about best friends it's about biggest best and most amazing ideas it's about maybe juvenile thinking patterns that eventually lead us home and it's definitely about um to get bossy, it's about to get evolved, the world is about to change, and we really basically have to break free of all of those positions where we are neither nor. You know, it's like I'm just contracted inside this this little drama. I'm con connected to somebody I don't want to be connected to, or I'm doing something that's not um, understood, or I'm not I'm not willing to change, but like I don't understand what my what my cycles are leading to. Um, that is going to uh, be given a different a different energy. So there's going to be almost like a ripping to shreds. And by the end of the month, as we go into September, there's going to be like, look, no more of this. Like, okay, fine, you're not happy. Let's rip this off. You're not fine with that. Let's rip that away. Fine, you don't want to talk to that person? Don't. Now let's try to find a compromise. Let's try to find an alkaline, soothing, smooth, and conscious solution to the question marks. Also, Venus will be in Virgo, as I said, for most of the month. So she's going to be like, okay, I get it. I get that you got a point. Why I get that you got an idea. You're burdened by the way that you're living or thinking or feeling. But like, 
oh my god let's try to work this out let's let's try to make sure that this doesn't happen again so we're going into the systems now this is not for everybody and i'm not telling you that you should do this because this is only for certain people that have enough attention to detail and enough maybe guilt or enough pleasure from work you know oh like let's try and work this out as i said earlier cancer july was a time to go in and work it out because the whole inside was available to you you could have seen everything during cancer unfortunately during leo you don't necessarily have a natural time to just look inside the puzzle because there's so much worth and money and hope and territories and love and ambition and uh, sexuality and anger and fright um it is all happening at the same time you know it all is happening as we speak as we are in leo now i'm recording this on 25th of july so what i basically would like uh, to prepare you guys for is that there is no way of apprehending certain results there's no way of canceling that um some of it is just like a big machine and it is just flowing and as i've been teaching my uh, patreon folks or guiding them rather um, and like the last um four or five audios of um cancer i was like listen just respect yourself respect yourself retain yourself just wait speak easy try to be okay try to be neutral because here comes leo here comes leo and this is going to be a freight train of energy it's going to be a freight train of philosophies it's going to be a freight train of thought and power and meanings that we may not necessarily belong to later in life so all i'm saying is that yeah there are definitely past lives involved here ancestral damage trauma karma unsaid words contracted experiences feeling benign feeling not heard feeling not entirely yourself feeling not in truth that will be the alchemy set as to why we have certain results why we want certain people near us what for we want certain designs and certain architecture and the reason why this may inevitably fail sorry guys yeah why this yeah is brought it in right at the end of the reading so if you stayed around for good reason because you know the best stuff comes out in the end so <laughs> so okay so 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 that's the thinking pattern here it's like yeah some of it will fail and some of it will not have enough worth so as we go into november's end you'll see so as we go forward into the next few months, it's like, ah, that wasn't meant for me or that wasn't big enough for me. That wasn't good enough for me. That is actually not what I wanted. So for sure, there is a scream of the soul and there is a fight and there is a challenger uh, within yourself that is probably waking up during this month of Leo or there's a real will or there's like real desire or like real t turmoil of um, who we are today also as a species and then eventually that may close down so as we walk into Scorpio um, it may be proven wrong so don't be afraid in a certain sense that you are so willing to change or this beautiful feeling this fresh like wow like blood to the head feeling of this time this avatar feeling there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that it's not often measured. It's not often correct. And it's not often corrected by other people. But in a sense, Virgo will give you the accounts later. It's like Virgo will be like, hey, uh, I was thinking about, you know, what you said during Leo. And actually, I don't think that's going to actualize uh, because we checked in, you know, we called everybody, you know, we checked the paperwork and it may not be that may not be you know so things may subside there are definitely some miracles miracles um that could probably only function for a few days for example you have a big bargain big idea it generates like honestly like a million bucks in three days and then close down because virgo is like look this is not this is not this is not so there's loopholes um there's happy-go-lucky people that are going into the fire like with a sword they're like i don't care i'm i'm, I'm gonna be a warrior here and i'm just gonna like chop down this and chop down that to make myself um, a very deep and a very epic vision of who I am or a very big mission in life. But not everybody is going to be there later on. Not every person is going to succeed. So basically, there's nothing wrong with putting your heart on the line. Um, you have to relax. So there's nothing really that bad about doing things to an extreme. There's nothing really that even epic of being a hero or fighting that fight. It's just whether or not you like it, um, there might also have to be an ending to certain things and schemes and you might burn out a lot of your past to be able to have a future. So the wake up call to me, as I'm on 33 minutes, sorry, this is a little long for you. Uh, 
is to be gentle and grateful no matter how hard you have to work or how fast you have to run and just to dedicate your time and some self-esteem to prayer. Sometimes it's good to pray for your loved ones. It's good to just pray. Sometimes it's good to just lay in bed and say thank you, just to relax and to see how far you've come. Don't take this lightly. Some things are almost illogical. It's like, wow, how far I've come. Like say three years ago, I was so hard done. Today, I am doing amazing things. Or like five years ago, this wouldn't have been happening. This wouldn't have been hopeful or possible. And look what has happened to me. Uh, try to rein it in and not just get that fire out of you to the point where you might not necessarily be happy and you might yourself be burned. So it's just about the outcomes. It is about outcomes and incomes. It is about competition. It is about being number one. It's about being the visionary you always wanted to be. It's about being the man or woman that you always wanted to be. It's about getting the best and the most like thickest, freshest, biggest, plumpest results. And then inevitably, as Virgo has a changeover at the end of the month, you'll have to think about it. But for the time being, we had a lot of time to think about it in Cancer. We had a lot of planning and thinking and envisioning happening. And it's still going on to some degree, but we don't really have the time or the energy, the power to have some truth and introspection, to have some all oh, holding back. Because all that time in Cancer was kind of about training yourself to hold back a little more. And then eventually we will have Virgo and Libra hum and har about your life and think whether or not you really want it this way and try to basically put all the blocks, put all the things together, even though it may not be in the happiest way. But after we have these dreams and visions not come through the way that we imagined, we might want to block them ourselves. You're like, okay, wow, I, I wanted to be a poet. Um, it just took my time. Honestly, I can't put my energy here. Or wow, I thought I'd build a house. Nah, I want to I wanna go. I want to go. I don't, I don't want this anymore. So there's also a very big chance that just after you bring something to fruition, just after you go there, just after you make it, you will yourself remove yourself from the position of being a king or queen in that way, which is what Leo is about, being a king or a queen. So maybe Virgo will have a lot less work to do for you. You'll have to be a lot less stressed and a lot less humble by Virgo-Libra combination. You will not be as humble if you can just stay safe and think about it sometimes whoa 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 i'm going nuts or like whoa 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 this is crazy what i'm trying to be and then that not necessarily self-censorship but self-measure might come in just in time so don't worry if your channel gets closed down don't worry if you get kicked out of a previous uh, position or a previous life choice don't worry don't respect it too much but sometimes life or even you or your body will fail just to make sure that you don't do that and eventually we have a very nice secure and resonant time which is exactly what we all wanted always wanted we want a nice safe secure simple symmetry between it all and virgo is going to work really freaking hard to make it this virgo month is going to be hard for some people it's going to be so hard to put all those finances together to put all those statements together it's going to be so hard to make sure that this works and that it eventually comes to a nice, simple, prosaic uh, equilibrium in Libra. We want to make sure that it's fine. And we want to make sure that we cancel a lot of the work that we're trying so hard to do. So that we have a nice, simple, ah, this is nice. This is lukewarm. Or this is cooling. It's almost like a cooling breeze. It's almost like a refreshing feeling. It's like, ah, oh, this is nice. I can do with this. This is comfortable. Comfortable. And also, just as a, one of the last thoughts, or the last thought, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but um, there's real need to feel strong, powerful, productive, carefree, and honest, and on top of things, on a level that is nice, neat, safe, and secure, because we are in a wooden dragon year. It's not about going, it's not about like the shame or the anger or frustration. It's not about telling everybody the story. It's not about being rock hard and it's not about being dangerous or demeaning to other people or yourself or your existing affairs or businesses or anything like that. It's just about having a nice legitimate feeling and know that if you're taking steps, you are welcome to take any steps you want right now. How about that? You're welcome to take any steps you want. 
but that as you're taking these steps, they are producing nice, mellow and conscious results so that you don't feel like everything's on fire uh, later on or in the end. So it's about just subduing it and that fire has to be nice and neat. You know, like that feeling of energy in your body, nice and fine. So all of this feeling uh, doesn't have to be about anything out there. It doesn't have to be outrageous. It has to be a nice warming sensation as the Leo is warming up your heart and soul. And it doesn't have to be outrageous what you do. And it doesn't have to be arrogant. It just has to be in a nice, simple flow that you can reflect upon many years to come. For many years to come without feeling sad or depressed without feeling like you haven't done the work and without feeling that you've done something wrong. So it's just about a certain type of depression and sadness and like, who am I and what am I doing? Being neutralized into this like, yeah, I can afford this. Or yeah, I can live normally. I can live a nice life. I can feel good about myself. I can feel good about another person. I feel a nice, neutral, overall feeling of success which is what we want to eventually establish by the end of the month. I feel good and successful about who I am. I feel good and successful about my home, about my body, about my boyfriend, about my girlfriend, about the food I eat, the exercise I do. I feel not stressed. I don't feel stressed. So uh, anyway, that's the main thing. Um, thank you very much. I hope that some of this was useful to you. Uh, and I'm still learning through the cycle. I'm still learning a lot. So it's just about confidence and a cycle of success for you and for your family tree. And also, especially if you had a lot of darkness or drama in your family tree, you can neutralize it right now. Um, you can neutralize it even before the month begins by just feeling stable and simple and feeling okay about how things are, how things were in the end and feeling a certain type of peace and success, no matter however life turns. So it's not necessarily about making that million dollars. It's not necessarily about being the it girl or the it boy or having mm, fun with that person or being lucky or getting lucky. It's not about this. It's just actually about a certain type of feeling of safety and humor and like a smile and a pleasure that only comes in when you feel that all is secure and everything is fine. And I was working on that all last month with my Patreon people. Um, which was also a difficulty that I had in my own family line. So this is, I'm sorry, like something that I still haven't yet um, connected to entirely and I haven't yet mastered. Um, feeling safe in your family home. Feeling safe with the people around you. Feeling safe in the country where you are. Feeling safe and feeling okay so that your steps are certain and you have it in you to do what you want without having to go through anything long-winded or strenuous. Thank you very much, you guys. I hope this mattered. I hope this mattered and I hope that you can find something that would warm your heart at the end of the day. Good luck with your progress. And also, yes, um, subscribe, uh, like, comment, anything you like uh, so that there is flow. And definitely check out my Patreon because that's where my heart and soul is. That's where I'm putting everything today. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time and take care. Bye. So the links are below, links below, and also I have written an amazing amount of books. I have 14 to my name today, but these are some of them. There are more books. They are on my site and the Amazon. So what else can I say? Why? What Why? else could you possibly say? Why do you still have How ones? do you do Why? it, Kalina? Why do you still talk so much? All links below, thank you very much. Yay, yay! Anyway, anyway, if in doubt, call me. Thank you very much. Here is you, here is me. We're different, I know that. We're all different people. We all have our ways in the world. And I'm better be off on my travels. Thank you so much. I gotta get back to my shit. Goodbye.